500 billion dollars, 400 million kilometers, and 10 months of travel. This is what it takes to send humans to Mars. But how exactly will we make this happen? How will astronauts be protected from radiation on their way to Mars? A Mars trip is especially risky. A round-trip mission could expose crews to radiation equivalent to thousands of chest X-rays that we know of. NASA's plan is layered shielding. The spacecraft's wall will be lined with materials like polyethylene or water, which are good at absorbing high-energy particles. Critical areas like sleeping quarters may be surrounded by water tanks to create a radiation storm shelter if a solar flare erupts. Astronauts will have only tens of minutes to move into these shelters. Astronauts will hunker down in the shielding section for hours or even days, surrounded by supplies that block radiation. Three days later. But long-term radiation is the single greatest medical risk for a Mars mission. It increases cancer risk, damages the nervous system, and may even affect your cognition. That's why both NASA and European Space Agency are experimenting with new materials, drugs, and even magnetic shielding concepts. So radiation will not stop us from reaching Mars, but it's a constant invisible threat that will shape how spacecrafts are built and how we'll cruise, live inside them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts down below.